Hi guys, I am Muhammad Shaikhan Mustafa Mimo. Today I am going to discuss about the development lens of reinforcement bars. Okay, so let's start. It is defined as that lens of embedment necessary to develop the full tensile strength of the bar. If the bar stress is F S at A, that means here, bar stress is here, tensile stress is here, then the total tension force A B, that means area of bar. Uh, if we multiply stress into area, then then we can get force, right? The force must be transferred from the bar, I mean from here to the concrete in the distance L by bond forces, L distance. That means these forces have to travel L distance, L distance via concrete into this portion, okay? Hmm. That's why we need development length of bars. What are the factors that influence development length? Type of concrete, cover distance, concrete cover distance, bar spacing, and transverse reinforcement. That means strap of the beams. Okay. In the design, we are going to use this formula according to SCI code. Okay. So, um, again, that this is a book of design of con concrete structure by Nielsen for fourth edition. I recommend you to buy this book. This is a very good book. Hmm. So here is a question that shows a beam column joint. Has beam and column joint. A continuous building frame based on frame analysis, the negative is still required at the end of the beam, that means end of the beam, is 2.9 inches square 2. That means the, the number of bars is 2, whose total area is 2.9 inches square, and the diameter number of bars is 8, and that means diameter of the bar will be 11 by 8, or 36 millibars are used providing Providing a is equal to 3 by 1 to the square. Required, um, required bar area is 2 by 9 to the square, but we have provided 3 by 1 to the square. Beam dimensions are B is equal to 10 inch, fixed door is equal to 18 inch, and height of the beam section is 21 inch. So the clear cover is um, 21 minus 18 is equal to 3 inch. For so speed up, the design will include number 3 stirrups, I mean 3 by 8 diameter stirrups, a space 4 at 3 inch followed by a continuous 5 inch. That means the spacing of the stirrup is 5 inch between uh, in the uh, range of the support. That means here to here, the spacing is 5 inch between the stirrups. This one is stirrup, right? 5 inch. Um, normal wear concrete is to be used uh, with a premise is equal to uh, 4000 psi and the imposing bars have yielding stress is equal to 60,000 psi. Find the minimum distance LD development level at which the negative bars can be negative bars can be cut. That means from here to here, this we have to cut off the negative bars. We have to have what to have from here. We have to cut off the negative but negative parts can be cut off based on development of the required area of the face of the column from the column face okay using the simplified uh, simplify equations of the type of one b using table we are going to use the general equation okay as i shown you in the slide so just forget this about we are going to um, use this equation okay so, sorry. So, in this equation, we we can see that uh, three by four. Mm, 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 so, is the diameter of the bar. Cb is the 
clear cover and even the amount of the bar if we even if I'm see so we can see from here to okay hmm uh, okay gamma is the reinforcement location factor coating factor reinforcement research factor our number is by the 11 number so the the this one you will be one right this one will be one and uh, however uncoated and single this one will be one okay normal way for normal world concrete it will be one okay but for reinforcement location factor horizontal reinforcement so pillars that more than 12 inch of fresh concrete in case members that is pillar development length of the other uh, this is not right um this one is we have to uh take 1.3 for the enforcement location factor okay and we know that if you see our cover dimension is in C and care transfer transformation ratio 40 into AR divided by SN this is the maximum spacing of transfer reinforcement within LD center uh, center so that is 5 inch and number of bars uh, was being developed along the plane of splitting that is 2 number of bars is 2 okay now I'm going to the formula. Okay. The more accurate equation 5.4, that means this equation will not be used. The center of this thing of the number 11 bar is 10. Okay. The width, width of the section is 10 minus 2 into 1, 5, that is this, this clear cover and this clear cover plus 0 0.3 that means the diameter of the stirrup plus um, 1.41 that means the um, diameter of the negative bar okay so if we done this then we can 4.83 4.83 is the um, uh, center to center distance of the bar 1 and 1 half that means 0.5 multiplied 4.83 is 2.42 the side cover to bar center is that means side cover from here to here okay 1.50 plus 0 0.38 0.38 is the diameter of the stirrup plus 1 by 4 divided by 2 that is the half of the half diameter of the main bar okay 2.59 and the top cover is 3 inch that is 21 minus 18 equal to 3 inch okay we have to take the minimum okay the smallest of the of this three distance controls and c equal to 2.42 potential splitting would be in the horizontal plane of the bar and in calculating air two times the stirrup stirrup bar area is used based on the number three stirrup at 5 inch by the kr KR that is our um, transverse reinforcement index is equal to 40 multiply area of the uh, stirrup that is for number 3 but the area is 0.11 uh, multiply 2 uh, divided by uh, 5 that is the spacing of the stirrup multiply the number of main negative bars that is 2 is equal to 0 0.88 and C plus K C divided by DBC to C to 2.42 you know that what is this plus 0 0.80 divided by 1.4 is equal to 2.34 which is less than 2.5 if this value is greater than 2.5 then we have to take 2.5 this is less than the limit value 2.5 so LD is equal to 3 5 is what is 3 3 is 3 3 by 40 multiply 60 here yes, for normal word quantity lamp is equal to 1 root over a, a prime C that is 4000 and that one is um, it, it is 1.3 1 1 and the value of this term is maybe um, 2.34 okay multiply 1.41 that is the diameter of the bar of number even it is equal to 40 uh, multiple 1 is equal to 55.7 inch so the required development is equal to, is equal to 55.7 multiply the um, determined area of the bar divided by the 
um, here is given provided area of the bar okay sorry this is not clear okay. okay a determined area of the bar 2.90 divided by provided area of the bar equal to 52 inch so this is our development length okay so this one is a development length okay we can cut off negative bar uh, from here okay this is our i mean negative bar you can cut from here okay this one is a negative bar for uh, and this one is the um anchorage anchor okay uh, anchorage of tension bar by hooks anchorage of tension bar by hooks okay we will discuss this discuss about this in our next video okay uh, some say that this is the development length you can uh, some in most in most beams it is um, provided with look this is the bar okay top bar just here and the bottom bar just here so this one is the total LD it is not it is the if the length of the development bar is a uh, minimum then you can uh, increase increase it or extend it to the column by using a formula this one is called the anchorage of tension bar by hooks okay anchorage by bar by hooks according to design of concrete structure by nilsson okay do not follow this uh, figure if anyone said that this one is the development bar okay that is correct but generally development bar uh, start from here all the way to here development bar is generally this one okay and this one is the extended bar i mean anchor the tension bar by hooks okay total is a development section so thank you very much uh, hope, you, hope you guys like this video and uh, thank you